Hi everyone, welcome in my, in my next video of Crack Tech 6. This time I will uh, build some nether portals. But first I will show you how I made the obsidian. It's using a uh, Grechtech with a mixing bowl. Um, the wondrous block that allows also allows me to make um, gunpowder and now I will use it to make obsidian. So let's first go down the stairs. I still need to make some staircases there. Um, let's see, plenty of lava and it needs to remove, needs to be re removed anyways. So what I do is this, since the cell does not work always, always work. So this, after the lava is removed I can expand this chunk to be part of my factory. So this is a um, necessary necessary action so to speak and it seems I almost got all of it uh, yes um, let's see another bucket because I don't want, do not want to waste any lava Because lava is very precious in Krechtech. It gives um, lots lots of stuff, lots of materials. Um, see this is the recipe for making the obsidian. And it's raining. You can make Pahahu lava. Which gives power and you can use it for this. Tungsten nugget, silver nugget. Gold nugget, copper nugget, tin nugget, basalt dust, which gives iron, I think. Olivine, calcite, flint, and dark ash. So, not bad at all. And this should give iron, yes. And then you can actually do exactly the same with this. So. You can first convert it to uh, to energy with the uh, IC to two, um, and use a pahahu lava to get um, your stuff tungsten, for example. Then you first need power and no power that's quite an issue since you need rubber for power and for to make rubber you need that manganese um, okay so it's just since there is already water present it's just like this so f very easy and now with the water up I fill it with new water. Let's do this. It's actually a quite easy way to make obsidian. You just need a mixing bowl and uh, that was not meant to be. Um, a mixing ball and those universal fluid cells which are made of glass panes and item tin item casing which requires some tin smelting and it's also not hard so this is actually very early game available since uh, this mixing ball is also not hard to make as you can see stain and clay uh, chisel hammer 
and a red die. The reason I hadn't built it yet is because I did not have a red die available. And I was kinda lazy to to look after it. But now I have it. And I'm glad I have it. Since it's, it's the best way to make obsidian. No better way, I have to say, since mining it requires a lot of time. It's it's basically the manual version of the igneous extruder of um, from a um, thermal expansion, so to speak. And also, I have to watch something. This is also the cause because of some lag when I move um, Subnautica is loading in the background that's a new game where I will eventually make some video of it probably in Dutch since the game is also displayed in Dutch um, but uh, at the moment the world takes like very long to load so that's won't I won't install it quite right now and I forgot my pickaxe so better get some pickaxe uh, uh, not there not there not there um, and I should also take some signs So pickaxe and signs. And maybe a sword, since God knows where I will be. Maybe in a dark cave full of creepers, who knows. Where they will blow up me like crazy. And disable my portal also. So I have to be a little bit prepared for that. So I will use one of my oldest picks or just make a flint pickaxe, even better. Um, let's see, flint sword and flint pick. Do I have flint? No flint. Hmm. Uh, just do the stone pickaxe then. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I do not need more than this. Okay. Lock and loaded. Speaking of lock and loaded, um, I'm possibly planning to add some new mods to my chemistry factory pack. Um, it's called the t t t Tech G Guns mod, which has wep weaponry and NPCs which become harder the farther you get from a spawn point. Uh, and I forgot my sign, but that's not a big deal. And it also adds ore clusters, which you can mine with a uh, mining drill. It's a multi-block, so it's quite nice. And it also features some chemistry-related stuff, so it kind of fits into the chemistry factory uh, videos actually so let's see let's this might be too close I think to the yes that's too close actually so I will have to go this direction for a new portal
otherwise I just spawn in another island or something like that and that's not what it should be. I could just also make them at bedrock level but just to show it. Uh, what is this emerald? Hmm. Don't really need emerald. What's this here? Um, this is a good place for a portal. So this, 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 um, this, this, and this. Okay. Forgot my flint and steel. Damn it! I forgot everything. <sighs> Maybe because I'm just awake or something like that. But it's a bit extreme, I have to say. A little bit. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'll just make a portal on the downside also, where my stair goes. I have a massive hallway leading to somewhere in here, so this is kind of the opposite direction. So on the end of the hallway, I will place the other portal. And then I get my flint and steel, uh, flint and t t tinder, as you can see a very long hallway, and oh, check my subnautica, still not loaded, that literally takes an hour to load that game. I hope they fix this very very soonish. Just break them by hand. It's not that there is enough of netherrack in here. Here we go, now the flint and steel. Let's do this for the moment. The video will probably uh, be a bit laggy, I think. If I look at the uh, screen, how it records, it seems to be kind, kind of low F F P S like. I hope it uh, won't be on YouTube like that. Maybe it's just uh, the screen that uh, show and uh, slow rendering when the video itself will be made it will probably hopefully be faster mm. maybe I sh uh, should upgrade my video card but first um, replace my CPU paste um, I bought it and um, still need to apply it but um, Tomorrow is weekend and then I will do it. Now it's um, kind of working day. I will get my stuff however. I need a screwdriver and uh, some watts or something to uh, uh, use with the cleaning agents to remove the old CPU paste and then I have to uh, purify it, it's first a cleaner and then a purifier and um, after that I um, have to um, apply the paste, the normal paste 
uh, the new paste that I set um, and then it should work it's um, it's a ceramic type of paste so the chance to screw up is not as much as it would be with um, silver paste um, let's place that here for the moment um, flint and steel really then just make a new one not a big deal um, iron bigots please my iron nuggets nope no iron nuggets then it will be quartz the nether quartz that's also good 800 uses should be okay I Greg nerfed uh, this items in Minecraft I lit instantly but with the uh, Greg tech it uh, takes more times it has a 30% chance of lit rate for a 100% chance of lit rate you need a lighter or a matchbox and those are found in dungeons and I still haven't found a dungeon yet I actually haven't found anything yet. Mine shafts, dungeons, villages. Surprises me normally. You quickly come across one of these, but here, no. Okay, I mine most of the time in the nether itself. But I do mine sometimes at the overworld. So I should eventually come across one and I have some hallways near my base below the ocean so it surprised me I still haven't found a mine shaft however I was mining at level 30 after I uh, did it the wrong way after I discovered that um, from the Tylacraft server that um, Tungsten and manganese spawn at level 30 and it's generally a good place to find ores also other ores like copper and iron but uh, still no success I did find some limonite but no manganese, no dungeons, no mine shafts. So maybe I have some luck in the future and I have it and I can advance to the um, electrical age. But at the moment it's, it will still be the steam age. So let's see what's on the opposite side of this portal. Where will I be? Wow! Damn! So not that far, uh, the terrain is already generated by me passing over. Since it still has IC2 ores. Yes. It's a big ass cave to explore. Interesting. Now I have a reason to make torches. I always have a reason to make torches, but now I have a reason to make charcoal to make torches. Oh. That is a pretty big cave. And what's the spawn level? Um, Y19. Okay. Lots of redstone, no diamond ores. Sadly enough, 
Um, I'm gonna have to jump, yes. This is flat or so yeah, I have to clean out all these um, industrial craft doors now I disabled the spawning but yeah I had a better I had to do it uh, much earlier than this but okay it's not such a big deal since you need you can't really progress with them since I'm still not past the steam age, they are not OP to have. Just make early game a little bit faster. Um, what is this? Also silver. So a lot of silver and gold. Okay. And there is a cave with mobs. Okay, so when I need gold, I know where to go. Definitely. Now let's check the other portal. I did take some damage. Okay, um, let's check my Subnautica world. Still not loaded. It's at 24. Uh, 2400 seconds loading time so yeah you can imagine how long it takes to load and it's a little disaster even without minecraft it takes so long to load so it has nothing to do with minecraft um, using of the cpu that should be used for g generating that map the Subnautica um, map gen uh, map, map loading um, does not use plenty of CPU. The most it used was 21 or something. So it's not that much. And it's multi threaded, so it's um, not a big burden if you compare it with Minecraft which uh, consumes a lot more CPU since it's single threaded so it has to it has only access to one core so that one core is fully um, fully used so it generates more heat and such but Subnautica eventually also generates much heat after some time of playing don't put yourself on fire time not a good idea let's see where will this bring me another cave with dirt and some water and like I said creepers Oh, what's that light? Oh, lava. Oh, ores. And oh, graphite ore. That's di a diamond vein. Yay! Yay! Finally, diamond veins. It's my lucky day. Now I can build a crusher. Finally! Woohoo! Jump, 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 jump. No, you're not gonna get me. You're gonna not gonna ruin my day. You bastard. And what's this? Whoa, this is the best portal place ever. This looks like um uh, pyrope. Yeah, pyrope. That's oh and that's almondine, that's for aluminum. Whoa, that's really, damn, that's really one of the best places to spawn in, damn, and this seems to be further than I see two gens, since I do not see, I see two ores anywhere, S so I should be past that 
points. This is uh, an this was previously an generated uh, terrain. Um, oh damn, that's a lot of graphite ores. Really, smaller redstone ore. Oh, look at all those diamonds. Many, many diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's some crazy shit over there. Some green shit. Green shit. Exploding shit. Um, just don't explode near my coal veins. Thank you. Green shit. Okay. So, since I struck the mother load of all, not of all veins, but this is essentially a mother load. Um, uh, I will close the video. Oh, let's get in the portal real quick. I have, I will have to take some defensive measures. <laughs> yeah, shoot each other. Don't bother me. Just play with each other. Now I play with you. Fine. Um, okay. Since, uh, oh. I showed everything um, I needed to show in this video, portals and obsidian. I'm gonna close the game. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.